Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to be doing a clean, declutter, organize, and decorate with me. I had lots to do in this room. So here's some before clips so you just can kind of see what we're working with before we get started. Um, if you're not following me over on Instagram, I would love for you to click on those links down below and check them out. And if you're new here, I would also love for you to subscribe. I do a lot of cleaning videos, DIY, home makeovers, all sorts of fun stuff. So I'd love to have you. But like I said, here are the four clips. I'll let you check these out and then we'll be getting started in just a few seconds. There's nothing out there to get you. Don't forget it. When life goes lemons, just call on me. So the first place I'm gonna begin is this closet. I wanted to put everything back up in its home. I keep all my shorts in that bin up in my closet and just kind of put away some of my clean clothes. And then you're gonna see me drag this chair out in a second. I was wanting just to rearrange the space a little bit and try to use it a little bit better because I know this is just some like wasted space I feel like. So we're gonna get to working on this area. Okay, so my intentions were to move out the chair and vacuum underneath it and then move Pearl, which is my wedding dress, into there. But now that I'm seeing this, I feel like it's just so much wasted space. Um, I feel like I could almost fit like a vanity or a desk in here since I'm kind of trying to make this beauty room work as an office for Chase as well. So I feel like the chair's just taking up too much space. So I'm gonna try to figure out what to do here. If there was an outlet in there, I wouldn't even be questioning it. <laughs> but the problem is there's no outlet. So like my vanity mirror, I wouldn't be able to plug in or like Chase's computer. He could put his desk in there and do the laptop. But the whole point of the desk is so he could have his desktop because he could use his laptop anywhere. But I've got to figure out right here what I'm wanting to do with this space. I've been getting a lot of questions on where did we put this desk. It's just been setting out in my garage. I really was going to sell it, but I like to hang on to the pieces just for a few weeks just to make sure I don't need it anywhere else. And luckily I did that because here it is. Um, I did a whole DIY video um, on this desk, so if you're new here and want to figure out how to turn an old desk into a new piece, definitely check it out because we did it on a super tight budget, this thing. I'll try to tag a picture right here so you can see what it looked like, but it was definitely an easy makeover, so definitely check out that video. I'll leave it linked down below in my description box. But now I'm going to start pulling everything out of this because in its previous life it was a desk over in my bedroom and dining room, and now I'm going to turn it into my vanity, so you're going to see me just start clearing everything out. Okay, now this desk, if you're new here, has been my vanity, but I recently uh, moved my husband's desktop computer in here, so he has a place to work in this office as well. So now I'm gonna start clearing out just all the makeup and all these bins. This was super dirty, so I'm gonna be working on it later, but I just kinda wanted to do the KonMari method and pull out all my makeup. So in the last couple days, since I haven't had a place to get ready, I've just been using the bathroom in here, and I've just been on the counter top just with all my makeup that I use daily so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all that into a bag and bring all of that into the bedroom on the ground because I need to sort through it and I feel like that's the best way with the KonMari method so you can actually see everything you have because I considered myself to be very minimal and not have a lot of makeup but I did have more than I realized once I put it all together you know Keep on keeping on every night 
as I'm sorting through this, I'm just pulling out any trash or any expired makeup. But since I'm dealing with makeup on carpet, I went ahead and went and just put a towel down. So if it spills or any of it's cracked or dirty, it'll go on to the towel and not my carpet. So definitely keep that in mind when you're like decluttering or organizing or doing anything with makeup. Even if you're getting ready on the floor, definitely just put down a towel because that's a lot easier to wash than your carpet. So now I'm just going to start dumping the bins. I was going to try to organize them within the bins, but that's just not smart. Definitely do the KonMari, dump everything out so you can see exactly what you have. Here's all the makeup that I use on a daily basis and a few other products. But before I can get organizing all of those, these bins were disgusting. So I'm gonna take them into my kitchen so I can hand wash them. I think all of these were from Walmart. I do keep a lot of bins from Dollar Tree, but all of these Walmart bins fit into like your Ikea drawers perfectly. Um, I don't think I can link these because they're so affordable, but if I can find them on Walmart or another site, I'll definitely put those down below in my description box, but super, super affordable. So I'm just gonna clean these with hot soap and water. I get asked a lot how I clean things. I always start with just the easy soap and water and it typically gets most things out so definitely just start there and I am gonna grab a new sponge since this is makeup and then I'm gonna throw it away when I'm finished so this sponge doesn't get used with any of our like food or plates or anything that we use These really did clean up so well. I'm glad I just took a few minutes to go ahead and get them clean. I know it's an extra step that didn't have to be done because I know they're going to get dirty again. But when you're working on spaces, sometimes it's nice just to go the extra effort because when you're done getting that space clean, it just feels so nice to kind of like reset it, have it clean again. I mean, it didn't take more than 10 minutes. So if you're needing to do that, here's your little reminder. Go clean your makeup bins. I promise you it'll look and feel so much better. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dry them out so I can take them back into my beauty room so we can start getting them all organized. I'm gonna find it so I can put it on me. Swinging from the chandeliers, I won't be sorry. I got a feeling I'm gonna crash into this party. I'm just imagine that we didn't happen like So the next step that I like to do is go ahead and rearrange them in my drawer. I could get everything organized in the bins, but if the bins don't fit in the drawer I want them to, then I'm gonna have to reorganize them. So I feel like the next best step is to go ahead and get them situated in the drawer. You're gonna see me tinker with it. I'm gonna make sure I can open it and close it easily because there was a few times I had too many in there and it was getting stuck. So definitely just make sure it's gonna be an easy open, close, everything fits nice and snug and then you can start organizing your products into them. Everybody will be on me, wanna join me. Now my next task is to go ahead and sort through all this makeup. So it kind of looks overwhelming when it's in this huge pile all mixed together. So what I like to do is separate it. So I'm gonna grab all my makeup brushes and put them together. I'm gonna grab all my lipsticks and put them together, all my eyeshadows and so on. Then I can kind of see how much I have of every product. Do I have too much? Do I need more of one thing? Um, and then I can just kind of, right here, I thought it was so funny, Tiger sat down in front of me. But it's kind of just an easier way for your mind to grasp how much you have and what bins you need to put it in. So definitely just do this by sorting by category and I promise you it'll make your life so much easier. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of separated everything into like items. 
now it's easier for me to go through if I was just doing it one by one I would think oh no I don't have enough lipsticks or I already have you know I don't have that shade <laughs> but when you look at it like I would have told you I had like three or four lipsticks but in reality I have a handful and I actually have more I think I have more in here I need to go through this real fast to make sure I have all my makeup out Okay, so I actually have 16 lipsticks and that's not counting what's in my purse. So that's why I like the Con Mari method is so good just to pull it all out because I would never have guessed I had that many lipsticks. Um, over here, this is all like my concealers and um, you know, base, liquid base. This is all my eye stuff. I don't have a ton. I like to keep mascara. This one's almost empty, so that's why I have this one. Um, but it's just for my bottom lashes since I wear like fake lashes. That's all eyeshadows. So basically, I'm probably not going to get rid of these because I like all of these. But I'm only going to keep a few out. And then when I want to change it up, I'll go grab like an extra. Like I'll probably keep extra makeup in a separate container. Just because I don't want to rebuy it And if I'm using it. This is all like my powders. This is a lot of like... I think more like um, primer type stuff, blushes. I don't have a ton of brushes and these I all pretty much use. And then this is a few hair pieces. So I am gonna skim through this and make sure I don't need to declutter anything and then I'll start organizing it into the bins. I don't wanna save ya, don't wanna be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them Just let go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know what you planned out Everything that you built up so once you have everything in categories, it makes it easy because you know how much you have of what product. So you know what items need a big bin and what items need a smaller bin. So it makes this task just a little less daunting. Um, otherwise you can get really overwhelmed. Save yourself and leave the words you spoken Cause some dreams are meant to be broken Okay, so here is how the first drawer turned out. This is basically just all my makeup, all my hair stuff. I'm going to move somewhere else, but I'm happy with the way this looks. I know I could spend some time and like make this look, you know, picture perfect and like Pinterest worthy, but the reality is, is I'm going to be touching this stuff every day. So if I could keep it just like this, I'm pretty happy. This is all my makeup brushes, my foundations, blushes, and highlighters. I put my eye stuff facing this way and my lips facing that way just so I don't grab the wrong thing and then these are all my primers and then just tools so like tweezers sharpeners eyelash brushes stuff like that but I'm super happy with the way this looks So now that my makeup drawer is complete and looks beautiful, I'm so happy with that. I'm going to work on the other drawers. What I'm liking about this system is all my beauty items are going to be in one desk. So before I had all my makeup in one desk and then all my hair stuff was over there at like the actual desk I work at and it tends to stress me out. I like all like items together in my house. I don't like them spread throughout. So this is super calming that I'm being able to bring over just all my products and all my hair tools so it's all in one zone. Okay, now I'm working on the next drawer. So this is basically all my hair stuff. This is like my dry shampoo. This is kind of what I use as my hairspray, my detangler. Um, and then down here is going to be all my like hair dryers and curling irons and straighteners. And then this top drawer I kind of need to work on still, but it's just going to be like, you know, clips, hairbrushes, pins, all that. I'm thinking about putting all my extra makeup down here just so all my makeup is in one place. I don't like things being like split. I just like how these drawers are thinner and these fit in here better so I can kind of organize it a little easier versus over here. This is like super deep. 
but I might try it just real fast to see if I can get it to fit correctly. While I'm working on this desk and just getting it organized, every time I've been wearing these shorts in a video, I've been getting a ton of questions about them. I actually found them on Amazon, which makes me super excited because you guys can just get Prime and have it shipped straight to you. So I will link those down below in my description box. I will say I bought the small and the medium because I didn't know what size to get and they both fit. So basically, if you want them just a tad bit longer, grab the medium. Um, but if you want them like nice and tight and short, do the small or size down. But both fit me well. I've been wearing both of them and I really can't tell a huge difference. So sizing, I wouldn't be too concerned about because I feel like they're roughly the same. Okay, so my hope is to find a mirror for up here soon. I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to set up this desk because I can't plug in lighting and lighting's not great there. But what my theory is, is I'll just pull out my stuff and get ready right here at this mirror. But I kind of wanted to show you, I'm gonna have to get a new um, little stool too that doesn't go. I'll get a mirror here just to make it look more like a vanity. Um, but here's all my drawers. So I've got everything in there, it looks good. All my like hot tools that I use. I showed you guys this one. There's all my makeup. So this is all my hair stuff. I know a little stuff back there looks crazy, but it's for like all my daughter's dance recitals I have to have. And then I was able to get all of this organized. So this is just my overflow of makeup. I actually like that it's in the same unit. So if it's like, oh, I did want to use that eyeshadow today. It's just right here real close. So I think that's going to work out really nice. So now I'm gonna work on my closet a little bit. You can tell I just need to organize it and I need to work on the rest of this room, how it's gonna look out here. I still have to organize Chase's desk with all like work stuff now. And then here in a little bit, we're gonna be adding hardware to this desk. So we still have lots more to do. So definitely do not click off yet. Now it's time to work on this desk for Chase. Like I said, it was my vanity, so you can see there's like hair, makeup, dust. It was actually disgusting. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and vacuum it out just so it gets up all that loose makeup and dust and hair. And I really didn't have to do much after that. It was all very loose. Um, if you use your brush attachment with your vacuum, it picks it up so much more. Like if anything's kind of stuck on there, it kind of just sweeps it up. So definitely don't forget about that tool. It was so helpful when I was doing this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Jaws wood cleaner and go ahead and wipe them out since this is gonna have like papers and envelopes and pins and stuff in it. Um, I do still have a Jaws coupon code. This is not sponsored, but I will have that link down below as well. And you shine like gold, I can get enough now, let me come real close now, baby trying a pose.
So now I'm gonna start putting all of like the paper and pins and organizers and everything I need in the store to get him organized and all the supplies he's gonna need to work. So all those bins that you see right there are from um, Walmart and I like to just keep them in like an extra closet so when I'm organizing I have them on hand. They're like super cheap. I wanna say they're around $2 and I think that's why I can't link them. If I can link them now, they'll be down below in the description box but typically they're such a great deal that you are, they're like not even on the Walmart website so definitely check those out at like your local store but now I'm just gonna be putting like pads and pins and envelopes you guys know all that staplers tape everything that you need at a desk it just so Chase has everything right here when he's working At this point, I went ahead and decided to like stop and vacuum. I've been cleaning out so many spaces and decluttering um, and had makeup out. I wanted to go ahead and just vacuum up any loose makeup or hair that may have touched the carpet. Not that I like love this carpet, but I also don't want it to get super dirty. And since makeup's been out and hair stuff, I just thought it was a good time. Um, I did want to mention, I always get asked about that desk that I was just organizing. We found it on Wayfair. And so I'll leave that link down below as well. But then the next thing, I wanted to work on was this shoe shelf. Um, I had bags up here but it was just getting really cluttered and I didn't love the color of the bags up there so I thought I would put some of my purses up here. Some of these are just inspired and dupes so don't panic but I wanted to put those out on display since this is a glam room and then if you have questions about the shoe shelves those are four shelves from um, Walmart and I'll have those linked down below as well. Super affordable and just a fun way to do like a shoe wall if you're needing organization or just like pretty art in your glam room and then I'm gonna come back here into my closet and work on kind of decorating this space a little more Okay, I found some shorts and yoga pants that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that I didn't need anymore. This space is kinda trying to figure it out. Like now I don't know what to put up here. I'm sure I'll find something. Once I find a mirror for here, I might be able to do it in this video. I'll probably run to the store and if not, I'll have to do it in another video, but I'd like to find a mirror for here and then figure out that space. I might try moving my family picture up there. I'm not sure. I gotta figure out the space. I need to get a stool from there. Um, I definitely need a chair here for Chase, but I'm just having a hard time finding. Furniture's really hard to find right now. If you've been out in the stores, there's just not a lot of it. So I'm just trying to work with what I have and make this all feel complete so um, it will stop stressing me out. I also did just put all my, so these are the boxes and these are the bags that came in. So it's not like I made a four purchases. I always get questions about that. So it's just um, the box and the bag. So I still have a little bit more work to do. And then um, I'll show you inside of this so you can see the knobs we're gonna be putting on. So these are the knobs we picked up from Amazon. I'll have them linked as well. We add them to everything, like our kitchen cabinets, any furniture. They will dress up any piece of furniture in your house. Here is all the tools Chase is gonna need to go ahead and get these um, knobs on. Now, if you wanna do this the easy way or you don't have a drill gun, whatever your reasoning is, if you just wanna do it simple and fast, you can get that like E6000 glue and just glue them on. Now, I feel like they may get knocked off occasionally, but it would be easier and faster. So if you don't have the tools to do this or you just don't have the time or want to, you could definitely just like hot glue them on or E6000 glue, do what you gotta do. <laughs> So 
So this honestly did not take Chase much time at all. I know if it was me, it probably would have been a lot different. He did make sure to measure both up and down and side to side to make sure it was exactly in the middle. But here's how it turns out. It's gonna keep my white drawers so much cleaner because they were getting so dirty from my hand touching them. And it just added some like glam to the space. So I'm super happy with how this DIY turned out. So I couldn't take it, so I paused filming and ran up to Ross, don't worry, I was wearing a mask, and picked up this mirror. It was only $19.99, so I felt like it was a really good deal. Um, I'll try to find a similar version of it and link it down below just in case you're not out shopping or if your Ross hasn't gotten much in yet. Um, but we did go ahead and screw this. When I say we, Chase screwed it into the wall. With mirrors, we like to use screws instead of nails just to make sure it doesn't fall or tear the wall. Um, it also had this sticky tag left over that always drives me crazy with Ross, but Goo Gone's your best friend. If you ever have those sticky things left, just rub a little bit of Goo Gone on it and it'll come right off with a little bit of elbow grease. Um, so that's just a little cleaning tip for you. I sat down by the ocean It's that tears that I feel Fill up with emotions Could I taste them for real? Longing for you, longing for you I could not figure out what I wanted up here in this little nook and then it clicked that I could put my um, subscriber 100k plaque up there with the letter. So thank you guys all so much. You're all a part of that. And now I have you right above my vanity where I get ready. So I thought that was a perfect spot. But this is the complete look. I'm gonna show you all the after photos. Definitely let me know what you think down below in the description box. Let me know which area you like best. This space feels so much better. It's just been so chaotic the last couple weeks and I didn't know how I was gonna make it work, but I feel like it really came together. I still need a few new pieces, but shopping's just hard right now and stores don't have a lot and we're not out a lot. So I definitely just worked with what I had to make this space just feel really glam and pretty, but also function as like an office and a beauty room. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much just for hanging out with me today and making it until the end of today's video. Um, my next video will be out Wednesday, so don't miss that. It's actually going to be a fun collab. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cool.